everyone i hope everyone's day is as majestic as mine has been or even a majestic week yeah um because that's what we're here for we're here to create magic we are here to be magic we are here to live magic and spread magic right because we're magical beings right so today Okay, so we had a little bit of a bug, but it's magic, right? A manifested internet. So yeah, let's talk about uh, what we talked about yesterday uh, as a continuation of our eight day challenge. So yesterday we sort of spoke about like the body, how it's your sacred temple, the foods that you should like nourish yourself with without restrictions or sabotaging yourself because we're not made to be perfect i don't even know like who created the word perfect because we really like honestly like what in the hell were they thinking um because there is no perfect imperfection so it's actually a word that should be obsolete because it's a word hey maggie thank you for joining it's perfect is like a word that is like a concept of an expectation that we like we put on ourselves because we need to be perfect in our body our body needs to be perfect our nutrition needs to be perfect our lives need to be perfect but really like what does all that entail not a damn thing because there's no perfect we're all here with our unique originality because we're unique beings point blank so like i really wonder who would who made the word perfect i know i'm amusing myself with this concept right now but it's really like these are the things that i really like sit here and think about because perfect is not shouldn't even be in the vocabulary but back to what we were talking about. So yesterday we talked about food, nourishing the body, not sabotaging by putting yourself on a restricted moderation diet, um, you know, like the keto and all that stuff and how your body is a sacred temple. And it is because it's your unique, authentic vessel. It's your ship. It's carrying you to your goals, it's carrying you to your dreams, it's carrying you to where it is that you want to be in life. And that's important because um, it's an impossible construct. That is so true. But I still would like to know who the fuck created that word. <laughs> like, what? like what were they thinking okay but anyway so yesterday we spoke about um you know food the body sacred temple which it is it's your vessel it is your 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 physical transport to life and wonders and beauty and all the trips and you know things that we go through hey brett so glad you're here to make it um so you know and the body you know we put a lot of physical stress on the body due to like everyday schedules and like things like that um but today we're gonna sort of talk about breath so yesterday it was water intake and nourishment feeding your body your sacred temple the foods that it's it it's like notifying you, like it's making you aware that it needs. Maybe you need more salt, maybe you need more sugar, you know, cause of glucose levels. Maybe you need more whatever, fats, cause it is possible to have very low blood pressure. So in my case, I have that, which I'm so glad for, cause I get to eat all the fried foods I want. But anyway, so today um, we're gonna talk about breath. Majority of Americans, because of their hectic schedules and the stresses that they impose on their body, do not, and I repeat, do not even breathe correctly, okay? Pranayama is the fuel, it's the very essence that we need to live, to bring spirit into formulation, to move spirit, okay? Without it, the body is is not receiving part of the nourishment that it needs in order to 
be active or survive. Water is very important. We talked about a little bit of water yesterday and water is important because we're 80% of water. Water holds cellular memory. It, it is majority of our genetic makeup. It is, if you've like, you know, looked into it, water forms the sacred geometric formulation of our frequency. It forms the little sacred geometry figures within our DNA. It's important. We need water. So I hope you guys are remembering to drink your water. Again, drinking your water requires half your, your, your weight in ounces per day. Water regenerates, it cleanses, it cleanses, it purges, it refreshes, it revitalizes. It's what we need. It helps to form and grow cellular reproduction, okay? Just like food does. But the other ingredient to that recipe to, to you know, take care of your divine temple is breathing. So when we impose stress, we're always sighing. It's, <sighs> electrolytes are great, Brett. Yes, definitely. Um, so majority of us do not breathe correctly. Even though it comes naturally and even though it comes, um, effortlessly it's not being done effortlessly because majority of you guys when you're stressed out you're depleting your oxygen system which in contrast is like shrinking your lungs because we're not expanding shutting expanding and shutting and getting full range of the motion of the lungs like we're supposed to so we're constantly out of breath you're shrinking your lungs you're doing this you're not doing this, you're doing this. So can you see how that kind of makes sense? The average person who is under a lot of stress, which is majority of us, you know, um, most people who are not aware of their body or don't practice discernment, they actually cannot, and I repeat, cannot breathe in between five to six seconds and exhale out nice and slow between five to six seconds. In Hindu philosophy, the longer you hold your breath, the longer you live. Why? Because oxygen is needed to revitalize the organs. It helps the diaphragm also, Maggie, yes, the lungs. It helps to alleviate any type of growths such as tumors and cancers, okay? because it prevents them from being able to survive and grow. Again, expanding, contracting, contracting, expanding, whatever, you know? So when you are doing this the whole time, you are allowing whatever blockages to continue to grow, okay? So it's important to make sure that you get that fresh inhalation yes no smoking unfortunately a lot of people do that too and a lot of that times because they smoke it's due to anxiety not receiving the proper breathing that they need okay and that's why people smoke you want to know how i know because i used to smoke i used to smoke up to two packs of cigarettes a day yeah, so bite that one. I know it's like unbelievable. What? She smoked? Um, what got me to quit smoking was actually my fitness because I got active. I started meditation. I started doing yoga. I started practice breathing pranayama. And I realized that, you know, all those anxiety attacks that we have or have had in the past was due because lack of oxygen, because we're not receiving the vital nourishment to calm center and allow ourselves to simply be okay so one example of an exercise that you can do at home on your own time we're going to do a breathing meditation like a, a little breathing exercise uh, a different one that i'm showing like telling you to do on your own uh, is inhaling through it's called the five 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 method it's five breaths in through the nose holding that that inhalation for five seconds 
and then exhaling out for five seconds. And what that does is it regulates the breathing so that way you're getting uh, the same amount of measurements in the body as you are out. Okay, the 555 five, 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 five method is great for beginners and it actually enhances your lungs capacity over due time to be able to go further. So after repeatedly doing the 555 five, five method, um, you should notice, and you should be practicing this every day because I know half of us are not even getting the right breathing. We may practice pranayama, we may do yoga, we may practice meditation, but in your everyday field, like going to work, getting in the car, being stuck in traffic, having to deal with, you know, road rage or like whatever monstrosity out there, I guarantee you are forgetting to practice to breathe. So when you're in uh, situations like that, really hone in, ground yourself and do the five, five, five method. Okay. Cause it's going to help you to calm down. Uh, and alleviate some of that stress because also when you breathe properly, you are expanding with your aura field. So there are meditations on YouTube that like repair or like heal your aura. Um, and that's great. Those are important to do too. But what those meditations are, are just simply fixing your aura by, uh, oh, I like that. I did a special effect today. Can you guys tell? <laughs> so, so magic. <laughs> so, but okay. So back to <laughs> decrease. Yes, it does decrease cortisol and adrenaline, your root chakra, your flight or fight mechanism. And so what these meditations on YouTube do is that they actually fix the holes, the rips and tears or the density within the aura. However, breathing is important. Breathing exercise is important to expand that aura. So you've got one meditation, and nobody's really done this in the uh, YouTube field community. Uh, I see a lot of like healings for repair your aura, this and that. But no, none of them really go over expanding your aura. So it's basically like a self-defense mechanism. When you do the breathing, you inhale, you expand out you are pushing out the shit that is trying to eradicate your energy field, okay? So five by five, five, five method, okay? I'm saying five by five by five, that's too long. Five, five, five method. So make sure that you practice that. It should be a part of your practice at least for five minutes every day. And if not, at least you can do uh, alternative breathing, which I think is pronounced Nadi Shadana. I don't know if I'm saying that right, Brett. You probably know, girl. You so you you a pro. Um, and so what we're gonna be doing is doing alternative breathing to help balance the energy fields. So this uh, prana helps with the nervous system. It also helps to uh, open the nostrils. It does balance it, everything that um, feminine and masculine energy. Sanskrit hard. I know, girl. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Did I even say it right? Shadana. It sounds so pretty. It sounds like Yolanda. <laughs> so, but, you know, when I first saw it, I was like, Shadana? Like Yolanda? No, Shadana. <laughs> So anyway, okay, you guys, I'm amusing myself today. I'm just like in a really playful, magical mood. Everything has been really good this week. We're finally getting our roof repaired. We're finally, um, you know, things have sl slowly going back to normal. <laughs> normal, right? <laughs> Which is really, really good. Um, so we're going to practice the Vishnu Mudra. So the Vishnu Mudra is your two fingers and it's hard for me to bend this finger because i have a cut tendon that i never did get surgery for because i don't believe um in certain things so you're gonna have your hands like this or is no other way sorry that way i like to use those two fingers every now <laughs> all right so this is your vishnu mudra okay so Vishnu Mudra <laughs> is, it helps us with grounding. It helps to clear the 
root chakra, sacral, and the solar plexus, okay? And it's also, Vishnu is the deity of protection too. So we're gonna be utilizing this mudra with our breathing, all right? So you're gonna go ahead and use your thumb for the right, and you're gonna use this finger on the left. So the first one you're gonna do, you're going to inhale through the right, put that thumb on the right, exhale out the left inhale through the left take that finger over thumb off exhale out of the right inhale through the right again thumb on top exhale left inhale again on that right finger on top, exhale right, inhale through the right, exhale left, breath should be smooth and synchronistic, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, Inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right. Inhale left. Hold that breath, bringing Vishnu Mudra down. Hold, hold, hold. Exhale out the mouth, nice and smooth. Five seconds in through the breath. Hold for five seconds. Exhale out for five seconds. Inhale for five. Hold for five. Exhale when you're ready, out for five. Inhale once more for five seconds. Hold that breath for as long as you can. Let that lung really set in, expand, contract. Hold, hold, hold. How long can you go? Hold, hold, hold. You probably done by now. I'm still holding. Hold, hold, hold. Yeah, exhale out. So that's just a little bit of breathing, different variety of techniques. You can, can combine them. You can do one, you could do other. It's whatever your body is telling you. So be the magical being that you are. Create some air monstrosity within the system allow your body to heal from it and expand and grow again these exercises are perfect for expanding your aura you know nobody talks about shrinking the aura uh you know and expanding it so this is a perfect way to expand that aura just by practicing any breathing technique so i hope you guys enjoy this and Woohoo! Be the magical be. I like the little stars, right? Be the magical beings that you are. Bing. <laughs> so, um, I hope this video helps. And if you know anyone who can use it, it'll be on my YouTube channel, and you can share it there. All right. Bye.